San Juan. I started working with Crystal Lynn about four months ago. And the reason I started working with her was kind of a little bit of a universal push for me to go in this direction. I always thought I wanted to be a therapist, like maybe when I'm 60, when I have more wisdom in life. <laughs> and so I'm a little shy of that, but at the same time, I just kept seeing signs, like random people would tell me, you should be a life coach. And I paid you to be my life coach, just friends. Um, and then when I asked a couple of other friends about it, they were like, oh yeah, you're already doing it. So it made me have a little more confidence to look into this. And first thing I Googled, she came up and, um, well, a few things came up, but it just really resonated with me, like her story and how she teaches and um, what she's about, really. So that's kind of how I started this path with her. What made me choose to work with Crystal and was really, as I was going through all the different programs and offerings out there, I noticed some of them were five week programs and you know, just, yeah, four week programs. And hers was a 10 month program, which to me was striking because I thought of needing at least two years to be ready. And it's not that I wasn't self-confident about what I had to offer. It was really just, how can you actually get to a place where you're well-versed in being able to coach someone and using all the skills you have in such a way that you're not like inserting yourself into the process right like how do you know how do you learn how to um, be that effective communicator and to have the skills to listen and process and then you know still let the spirit flow through you and you know download things but still having it come out in a curated way that helps people so that you're not just blab blathering um which I tend to do. <laughs> so it's, it's I, I think there were a lot, a lot of things that made me question like how a five week program would actually be effective. And then on top of that, because I'm a business owner, I um, have done a lot of design work on my own, freelance design work and tutoring. So I'm familiar with how much it takes to actually build a business. So there's no way that in five weeks I can get certified in something and know how to attract the clients and know how to work with what I know. My first meeting with Crystal Lynn was our discovery session and I just felt her vibe. I don't recall the details of our meeting. I just remember showing up and her face lighting up on the camera or on the screen and it was just this energy and there's a compatibility that I knew like immediately like okay she's got a little I like how she has a little bit of like sassiness to her <laughs> and she just it like it is and I can be so stubborn and slow in my personal progress at times that you know I kind of need that to hold me accountable because you know anything subtle would be like yeah okay I'll get to it <laughs> so I just really like her personality and it clearly show how much knowledge she has in this area and in business and just the things her her personal experience in this area really attracted me A few skills that I learned so far, um, I know there's more to come, is how to launch an online business. And, but even backtrack before that, it's how to create a method and structure around these kinds of, you know, divine inspirations and creative thought. So um, just like corralling the thoughts and like putting it in a logical way so that it ends up being having a formula to go forward and say all right well what kind of content am i trying to create what is my authority what are the pain points that people i serve have it's really not anything i would have thought of on my own at all this kind of process you know i might just go in there with some kind of like uh, idea but like it would just take a lot more time to refine if I didn't go through this process with her. Um, and then also her recommendation on how to launch a, an online business, the time frame, like what activities I need to offer, what kinds of classes I need to offer and how to build a community. That's something I would have never done. Well, it's interesting. When I first showed up and signed up with her and started the program, I had a lot of hesitancy. It's it's 
because I was saying how the universe was nudging me in this direction, but I wasn't fully on board myself. And I still had a lot of self doubt. Like, can I do this? Is this really for me? I can keep doing my other businesses and I have an affinity for self development and growth. And I'm always helping people out or trying to serve in that way. But I didn't feel I was ready. And working with Crystal Lynn over time in the last four months, it's really because she breaks it down into a process and a methodology, helping me to uncover what my personal gifts and my niche client is. It just like made it seem so obvious. Okay, I do have something to offer and this is what I have to offer. And it solidified, you know, that I had something to give and that I needed to do this. So it's, it's very affirming in that way emotionally to know I am walking down the right path because she walks you through the process of what it is that you have to give. Well, I go through lulls of I don't feel inspired or creative. That's, I think, one of my biggest challenges. And then also, well, I would say that because she has a very specific process and methodology about going about this, sometimes I get stuck in the method and less creative. Like there, it's almost the two sides of my brain conflict and clash. It's like, okay, I need to do it this way, but she doesn't tell me that I have to do it that way. It's like a recommendation, but then I get so fixated on like doing it this way that I don't allow that creative flow or spirit to come in and say, okay, this is what's happening now. Do things however you need to do it to get the idea out. So, but at one point I did, um, because I was an architect, I had to take out trace paper and just start like sketching words and drawing lines between things and diagramming like in a very analog way for my body to, you know, let things out. So um, I think, yeah, I would just recommend for people to really use whatever method works for them. And, you know, her methods are, you know, very tried and true, but like, you know, adapt it as you need to make it work for you. This whole process has taken me out of my comfort zone in so many different ways. It's, it's like what they say about um, the universe conspires <laughs> to help you manifest what you need or whatever that saying is. But basically it's manifesting in every way in my life. So as I'm writing something about uh, say intimate relationships and emotional intimacy, boom, it shows up in my face in my personal life. So that's been, challenging in the best way because and that was my concern do i am i well versed in this enough to give other people advice to help them uncover and you know just bring them to the next level of where they need to go like i don't feel like i'm you know i have it all figured out and you know that's what she tells us like yeah you don't have to be perfect to be able to help and so just having that desire and then as i'm writing on certain things it would show up in my life so that i get even more clarity on it as i do my shadow work so that's been challenging at times, like really challenging at times. I'm like, oh, I just don't even want to go through this because I know the next thing I look at will show up in my life. But that's actually been really awesome because it's it, it's a purification process a little bit of my own self and my concepts about things so that I will be more clear in delivering it to other people.